Her opinion doesn't count even though she's oh my god because she's, she's so like insecure now. This asshole. Have I told you what a piece of my husband is he was shooting at jk all day today and i usually when he comes home from jk he's really tired so i made sure to eat dinner on my own well it wasn't really dinner it was like six o'clock i don't know is that dinner we don't know and so i was like whatever about it right he calls me he's like i'm on my way home i'm at chipotle what do you want i'm like i already ate he's like oh no you already ate and i was like yeah what's so what like i don't want chipotle whatever and he was like oh no and then he's like okay i guess i'll eat chipotle alone i was like fine whatever i don't care he comes home, he had already ordered my favorite Italian meal from my favorite Italian restaurant, Il Capriccio. It's in this bag, like a freaking jerk. He ordered it because a week ago I told him how my horoscope said that March 13th was the most romantic day of the month and how I don't expect it to be romantic because he's at JK all day. But I was just letting him know that like, that's what the horoscope said and horoscopes are bull So like that wouldn't happen. So. This motherfucker tried to make it happen. He like, what a, yeah. You hang your head in shame. And what an asshole you are. I shouldn't have done it. Got me my favoritest meal from my favoritest restaurant just to romance me. Ugh, piece of shit. I love you. Mm. I love you so much. Oh, I wasn't prepared. I didn't do shit today. I would have gotten pretty. I would have tried so to. Pretty. I would have tried to try. Oh please. I did my nails though. Look at that. That's cute. I like those. Yeah, they're my St. Patrick's Day nails. That's very cute. Joe thinks we're really fighting. Yeah. He's very upset. Yeah, he doesn't like it. Really anyway, well. I have the sweetest husband alive. I'm the luckiest girl on earth, and I don't know what to say. I know. I already ate because I. I feel like I'm an asshole, so that's why I have to call you an asshole. I understand. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You buy a guy a drink works. Ooh. He buys you the world. Listen, this chick is the best. But yeah, our variety pack came yes. in this morning. So, so look excited. at look at all the different flavors. Whoa, whiskey sour. I think I'm gonna make it cosmopolitan so I can use my pretty glass. Yeah, that makes sense. I think I might make a mule. Yeah, that's what I was hoping that it was gonna be here on the day you got home and it was so perfect you were making a mule and I was like, ah, I wish I had the friggin' Moscow mule. Ooh, strawberry margarita, dude, this is sick. I know, right? It's a good little collection right it's there. It's tight. Can't believe all the free sponsorship care is getting. You know, they're so lucky. Wow, it just comes out like that. <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't even know if I mentioned that it has its own carbonation for the soda drinks. Look at that. Bro. Give her a try. Yeah. Fucking delicious. Yeah? Straight up. Hell yeah. Dude, this bartender is amazing. Amazing. They do great. And we work. don't even have to tip them. No tips. Never. No tips. Bye. Raising the tobagos. We growing like fresh tomatoes. Them boys on fire too fuego. We pass it brown hot potato. Everything is new. Need my bread, need that bankroll. Wake up, yes, Lord, I'm thankful. Another day on my schedule. Steady blocking the devil. I tell a hater, God bless you. Cherish moments that special. You gotta keep the momento. If you love me, then I love you. And I Okay, I just fell down a rabbit hole of watching these like Gen Z brow videos where they like do these giant bushy brows. And I gotta be honest, like I don't hate it. But it did feel very weird putting it on at first. Um, and this is about as bushy as they can go. Um, also, I wasn't like trying to do a perfect job. I just wanted to see like exactly how bushy my eyebrows could get. And that's where they're at. Then I did this side regular, just like, I didn't even fill them in all the way. I just did it like, the, like to brush them up, but to see what happens if you just don't go super bushy. And, um, I think I still like my regular brows better. Let's ask Steve what he thinks. What do you think of my brows? I love them. You do? Yeah, I do. Which one? The right one. Which one's that? This one? The, this one. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so you like the, yeah, reg the regular brows. That is your regular brow, yeah. Yeah. What the this is a. I was trying the bushy, the bushy brow trend. Um, yeah, no, it's not for you. Okay. But 
I like the one that I read a lot. Yeah. I was surprised how much I didn't hate it. No, I, I like it. at first I, I, I did it and I was like, oh my god, that's so much. It looks like Frankenstein. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, actually, I don't hate it, okay. but I definitely like my regular brows better. Yeah, I like regular brows better. I am glad that um, this generation's embracing bushy brows and not over plucking them you like our generation boy? did. I don't think I have enough hands for a wiggle boy. Oh, okay. Well, maybe tomorrow. Hey, you're wiggling. Anyway, husband Tess said regular brows. That's what we're going with, and that's the end. I'm very superficial though. Like, yeah. I could be overlooking the fullness of these brows. Like, no. A lot of these brows I'm maybe missing. No, I don't know. No, I don't think it's that deep. I think I'm probably fucking this up somehow. Probably. Hello, good morning, happy Florch. Um, today's Sunday, and it's 11 o'clock. 11. It's daylight savings time now, so we lost an hour. But because of that, my cat thought that it was eight when it was really seven, so he woke me up out of a deep sleep. This is Franklin we're talking about. And I, uh, so I locked him out of the room, and then I went back to sleep. And then my other cat, who I didn't know was in the room, Thomas Collins, woke me up. And then I locked him out, and then I went back to sleep. And then I ended up sleeping till 11. What the hell? I hate it. So we have people coming over today for a business meeting. Business. I'm having them test out the drink works. So we need, you know, we need testers for sure. But I thought I was going to be up at my normal time, have my morning coffee, do my morning things. And now I have to clean the whole house before they get here. And it's 11. I hate it. Hey, you. It's your fault. You don't understand, when I say that Franklin wakes me up, I mean he is relentless. He will not let you sleep. He bites your hair, he bites your face, he, he, he'll maul you. It's a bad time, so you have to get up. Ooh. Anyway, thanks for listening to my rant. It's a party channel. What, did you not come here for a party? I'm, I'm confused. You came here because you got an invitation to a party, right? Okay, cool, because that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna be honest, hot take here, but I love duvet covers. I love everything they do for me for sleep. I love their purpose. I love everything they stand for, but they have to be like the most annoying thing ever to change out. I'm sweating. It's the most frustrating thing. It's like a puzzle and physical labor all in one. And I'm really starting to think that my bed helpers are not that helpful. Like they're not, I mean, like today, like I feel like they made it harder to change the duvet cover. So I don't know, I'm gonna talk to their manager, but uh, that took way longer than I expected it to. But here, yay, yay, you're wrinkled, cool. I'm, I'm happy. Update. So Jess Caldwell is here right now. We're doing an impromptu guacamole making competition because she doesn't like the way that I make guacamole, which is actually the best way on planet Earth, which is using chunky salsa instead of having to chump, chop up your own tomatoes and onions and all this garbage bullshit. I do that and then I add lemon pepper and then I add some lime and that's some salt. It's really, really fucking good. She's like, I don't like when there's salsa in the guacamole. Hey, so she I don't, I don't <laughs> it sounds just like you. Anyway, look at this brilliant, brilliantness, perfectionness. She brought all her own spices. What a fucking I just nerd. don't. I don't actually use tomato or cilantro anymore. I used to. But yeah. I found unnecessary. I found that I personally can still enjoy guac without tomato and cilantro, even though that's the, the normal thing. I'm gonna put some more jalapenos. Tomatoes are too watery. That's why I prefer salsa because it's like more yeah, concentrated. Yeah, the tomatoes. Especially in the natural block, it kind of ruins the texture for me. Yeah, I agree. Unless you're going for a real fresco yeah. taste. Um, but she's chopping up little baby like jalapenos. Jalapenos. So it's just avocado, onion, jalapeno, lemon juice, and spices. She came in here like bullying my knives first. <gasps> Kitty, get down! <laughs> Kitty, get down! Tom Collins, you're in trouble! The mean lady's gonna get you. Sunlight 
it always stays. This is the woman that helped get this machine faster. She did more for ahead the of... machine getting in this house than anyone I could name. <laughs> <laughs> Not the person who bought it. Yeah, no. Including the person oh, who okay. No credit. No love. No. How is it? It's actually really not bad. Right? Yeah. They make really good drinks. I'm like impressed. I thought I'm I would- I want to try more of them, but I can only drink some- Like I don't yeah. have tolerance to try. This woman didn't like it. She, by the way, hates our knives. Yeah, she, she does. Like we would yeah, shit She's knives. very open when things I'll are not you, up like, to par. When, when your stuff sucks, I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> but only if it's like a lies to me. Yeah. I'm not gonna just be like, that sucks, that sucks. But I was using her knives. Yeah, and she's like, I hate I these. Like, these we didn't even ask. <laughs> I just gotta let them know that they have yeah. trash knives. Yeah. So now we know. Now we know. I was like, they were a wedding gift. Yeah. Whoever gave those. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. Dizzy. That's the carbonation. Oh, because it has. Oh, it's cold. Yeah. Oh, intrigued. Right? I'm so. Oh my god, it actually comes out as coke. Right? Okay. I'm shitting. Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, no. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh my god! Oh. I've never done this before. Oh no. oh no! I was wrong. We got too cocky. I did get cocky. Sorry, I wasted some of your drink. It's fine. Is it good though? That's good. Yeah, is it good? It has. Or does it delicious. Taste like, does it taste like RC Cola? It's fucking delicious. RC Cola's good. Fuck you. Wait, can I put? It <laughs> okay, we have an authentic Mexican here. Yeah. She is yeah. going to try the different guacamoles and tell us which one she likes better. Well, I could tell which one's the favorite. Already. Oh. Well, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's not that's not true. One was, was one had more oh, okay. And also one had a lot of black spots, so there was less in there. True. Oh, like okay. one just one avocado didn't have as much product to work with. Indeed. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. She says yes, she mm -hmm. likes it. I mean they're both acceptable. Very positive. Tasting. They're not like gross. But they're, they're just so close that we want to know who the winner is. Yeah, they're like, they're and we like also point, have a, a there's a principle in this <laughs> that we have a contingency on. Now you gotta okay. try another one again, and then that one again, and then you gotta, yeah, yeah. you try Would it. Would you like to reach it? <laughs> this one, and this one, I gotta try this one again. Let me see. So we have not only a Mexican voice, but then we also have a oh, Texan have a cook. voice. Oh yeah, a Texan oh, so and like, Eddie cook. Every single one of these is a, is a Texan well, guac. Well, I'm from Texas. So I'm from Cali. So I'm from them. Southern California. We have we grow the avocados yeah. here. So true. excuse you. True, true. I was conceived in Dallas, Texas. Steve, you're wow. not a Texan. Steve. I was conceived in Dallas. No one thinks you're a Texan. That's literally a real original. <laughs> okay, I have my vote. Okay. I'm gonna be so mad if she picks yours. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> you might lose a friendship. <laughs> no, you don't know which one I'm gonna pick. Yeah. You don't know. Hmm. You don't know. Can you pick? They're pretty I, close, right? I know. I know. I'm like, in I case I, I lose, I'm like, yeah. Pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it all insecure. Yeah. <laughs> she was talking mad I'm shit, and now she's like, 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 she even tasted mine to see like what hers was lacking, and so that she could make it. Up. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 I have mine, and it's just, it's a very simple reason why. They're both really, really Okay, okay. Really, really I know which one you're gonna pick. You know why too, right? I mean, probably. Okay. Which one do you think? Oh, you don't like onions, so hey, I you know more. I know <laughs> la boca. I got, okay, her opinion doesn't count, even though she's <laughs> Oh my god. Because she's, she's so like insecure onions. now. She's, she's so insecure. She's a Mexican. No. She's like, can I answer? Defending her? before the answer comes. You're, you're back on JK News. <laughs> she <is> like, <laughs> Is this one? Her vote doesn't count. Her vote doesn't count. Her vote doesn't count. What? She doesn't like. No, her vote doesn't count. Yeah, it doesn't. She doesn't like. What? They were so close. And you're right. The onion almost made me not want to pick this. Yeah. But this one, it was really delicious, and they're both really close. It's just right. that this one was a little like more like not as much lime or salt or something like. Mm, see. Agreed. I didn't kick. Okay. Kick Here's the thing. Before. I couldn't taste mine as I was Texas going. Win, baby! I couldn't taste mine as I was going because everything tastes like a latex glove to me right Why? now because the COVID oh, after COVID effect. So avocados taste like latex to me. And Weird. so I literally was having Steve taste it to see if it was like how I usually make it. And oh. I'm like, do I need more salt? Do I need more like lemon pepper? More, more line, more line. Yeah, but I did. So I did. She did. She put more lemon in it. Yeah, but, but no, they were 
really but I couldn't one. taste it. Okay, then you, then it's a tie. See, it's a tie. It's a tie. It's a tie. Wait, what was Casey's vote? Yeah, what was the simple reason? I thought he was going to pick this one. Why? My simple this reason is, is the onions. Spicier? I like onions. You like onions? I thought you couldn't oh. eat nightshades or whatever. I shouldn't. Oh. <laughs> I like Nikki's better because to me, Jess's, the, all the flavors are there, but the onions fuck it up for me. I don't oh yeah, he onions. doesn't like raw onions. There's That's true. There's a lot of people that don't like raw onions and their opinions don't count. <laughs> oh, okay. But also yeah, Tiff's opinion didn't count. count before she even said anything, so. Yeah, true. <laughs> so, I didn't even get to vote yet. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't like votes, and my opinion doesn't count, but I voted for this one. Okay, we got it. Yeah. yeah. I voted for the one with the onions. Yeah, but it I was at the last yeah. second. <laughs> at the last second when I remembered she doesn't like onions, I was like, oh my god. You got god. so insecure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dinner by the waterway. It's that sweet life. Raise your